Hi, this is Nalcaffeine and welcome back to some more Oblivion Dungeon playthrough, where I will be uh, scouring the dungeons of Oblivion. And today's dungeon is Wilverin. Many will uh, remember this as the first dungeon you will, or ruin you will see when you uh, get out of the Imperial Prison Sewer. And uh, we uh, we'll uh, probably not be able to do much in here before getting killed because this is a rather big and dangerous room. However, we have to go through. So, uh, before you do anything, you will be uh, greeted by some bandits. As you can see, we have two of them standing around over here. One of course is an archer, so you will be uh, either take him out first or just yeah be very careful yeah but we of course are more powerful than those assholes so we can just smack their faces of course there's a book here it will give you some hand-to-hand -hand skill I will not grab it however you see that there is one and we will now be focusing on the main dungeon itself so just checking around uh, is there anything else you will want to grab of course there is a chest with some chests around but most importantly you see the dungeon so uh, being a, an alien ruin of course be loads of stuff to do in it so upon entering the room you will be greeted by one type of enemy well well look who we've a got it oh what's the matter is the baby got a <coughs> yeah the baby just beat your ass so um not too big a deal i feel not much in here except that guy which will be calling you a baby there is, of course, something to be aware <coughs> of, and whoa, holy moly, I was just about to say there's a trap here, and I stepped on it, so be careful, that kind of scared the shit out of me, but yeah, you will now be able to enter into a small room, and a staircase leading down to somebody standing down here, of course it's another a fight, you bandit, which you can easily disperse. Not much to brag about in that room. And, um, I'm not really sure if I were so stupid that I actually passed by that room. I don't really think there is an easy way to enter it. But as you can see, there is. Um, yeah, sorry. What uh, will happen is that your kind of escape route will be through this place. So this door leads from the lowest level. So, um, a little divergence. Uh, we are now back in the room where you can clearly see there is a tripwire. So you will want to trip it with your fingers. So you will now be entering a rather large room. Which, uh, there probably will be a fight because there are, of course, bandits and a rather nice amount of gear. Stared me right in the eyes before I killed him. And before we loot anything, we may want to kill him. First, that's when you come. Just in the meantime, we will loot this very easy chest, as you can see. Uh, and also, there is some iron gear here, so maybe if you feel lucky in the beginning, you can go down there to find some nice armor and leave prison suits. Of course, there are some bandits which will stand in the way. But for me, at least, it's not a problem to disperse them. 
Um, I'm not going to pick this up, but however, I will be picking up this chest, giving us some uh, rather nice loot with some food. Otherwise, not too much of a scramble. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, a walking stone, which has fallen down, which is always nice to find for some cash. And yes, so we are now in the centerpiece of the room. Going this way will lead to the next level, so I will turn my back to that and enter the back part. There will be a ringleader, the boss of the bandits. It will be, as you can see, he has taken all the plunder and loot. And yeah, we may have killed that guy. He may have heard us and come down to greet us as well. So there really is nothing here to fight, but a lot of things to loot. So yeah, we have a scroll. I'm just going to take it. Why not? And if you feel like a really poor poor soul, you can also grab his hard-earned cash. So, leaving the room, we now have explored everything there is to see at that side. It will be prudent to go all the way over to uh, the other side. Just take a leap of faith down here. So, instead of walking down these stairs, we will now enter this room, which there will be a of being too much of a nuisance. And we will now, as you can see on the map, go down to this room, where there is another bandit with a sniper, not really posing a big threat to me. And there is our door. Nothing else to really mention in this room, so we will be walking in. Entering the canosel, we will be coming from the down, um, down most, most part, uh, that's even a word, <laughs> and in the beginning there won't be an enemy, not at first, however, be aware there is a bandit you want. hiding out here. So after smothering that one, you will want to go and grab this cask, which has a mort flesh, so you may uh, be able to guess what will come. Speaking of enemies, in here, no traps, don't be worried. Another cask. Very easy to loot. And now, as we have completed this section, we will now head on what would be your uh, left hand's uh, uh, corridor. Walking on, we will come to a pressure plate. Opening a rather tight door. Not so tight anymore. As you can see, it's filled with blood. So, uh, be a bit aware. Don't have to fare just yet. Uh, we will be entering a room where there is a dead bandit. Maybe check out his corpse. He's also called dead bandit, so... Now, um, we will be entering the place where uh, the transition from bandits turns into either undead or uh, creatures, so to speak. So the enemy may be a bit more frightening. Anyways, we will now enter another room where there is a pleasure, pressure plate opening a secret passage. What will happen is that there is a nasty zombie hiding behind. Us, just blocking his charge, and we will now be entering another room. Uh, the problem is that both these ways leads to the centerpiece, 
but I will be taking this. Um, firstly, because we will soon. Oh, and we level up. Well, we will be coming to the next level store, but that is not uh, my worry just yet. So. Coming in uh, to another blind way before we enter what will assumingly be a big hole, we can see to our left that there is a pressure plate opening this door, but also some loot. So, um, logically, I to grab the loot first, then trigger the pressure plate opening this door. Now you will enter a rather big hole uh, containing two enemies and one chest. Almost every time be a skeleton. As you can see, we have another one hiding out over there, which we <laughs> or I really whacked. So, uh, also, uh, this is a underwater area, as you can see, where there will be an elite task in this corner where I am standing right now. And if we had opened uh, or gone through the door which was locked, we would have come through this way. So I will just go up here, preparing myself to face another enemy, which should be here somewhere. There we are. <coughs> Skeleton. And we'll now enter a room where there will be four doors. Each of these can be lockpicked open, but for the moment we will want to go. Yeah, this is a part uh, which I don't really know why you would, um, or it's self explanatory that there is some loot on the other side of these doors. However, they have put some enemies behind them, so you really have to work for. Uh, your loot, so to speak. So, uh, which I will show you now, uh, the only thing you will gain from opening this door is some experience maybe, which is always nice, uh, but there is no loot to be had. However, the uh, history is the, or the deal is the same with this door, you can lockpick just to do it, which I may want to. Or not, <laughs> or yeah, I'm just going to abort the attempt. But you can understand what I'm getting at. Um, but you will want to open this one. There is a dangerous rat behind that door, which um, is guarding a rather big chest. You have to excuse my lock picking skills, they are a bit rusty. Go. So, yeah! power attacking the rat, killing it, then opening the cask, which is very nice. So now we have done everything there is to do in this part of the dungeon. So coming back, we now have completed the second zone of this dungeon and are beginning to go down to level 3 which is the Wilverine Vendesel. So, entering, we are now going to come to a rather big hallway. As you can see, loads of spike holes in the ground, which you really don't want to step on. So, make your way around. Enter the range of this skeleton. Take him out, grab the Wailed Stones, if you are desperate. They are good to have some amount of cash very early on, so why don't you want? I ask. Coming up to a T crossing, you will want to go to the right because this is a separate room by itself, containing one or two enemies. For me, only one. For you, maybe two. And there is four whaled stones to be had 
as well as a chest at the bottom. Continuing on the sub gold. Having cleared this room, you will now be wanting to go out. Before you just charge on, there is. Uh, or maybe not. I am really not sure, but there is supposed to be a gate here. You're hearing the creaks of the skeletons, you can only assume that there is some enemies. You can see some shadow through the wall. You can now start to push buttons, which uh, may be. Uh, turning into a hazardous task. Each button will probably open one door, as you can see. I will just miss everyone. And we are now greeted by two skeletons. And yet again, you just want to open everything. Why not? Even if there is only one enemy there, you will just get another kill to your name and more experience points. Which is always nice. And of course there is another skeleton. I just want you to die. And we will now open the two remaining doors. Which will be these I guess. Triggering even more skeletons. So we told you five skeletons to fight in this uh, corridor over here. So opening everything at once may be a bad idea or not. It depends on how you view this game. If it's difficult for you, then Maybe you shouldn't. So, uh, we grab a key from there, which we will be able to open this door with. Or you can, if you are proficient enough, just lockpick it. Continuing onwards to the final chamber, we will be greeted by a new dude. Entering the room, we will now see a Varla stone cage. Um, the activation lock is on a balcony, which probably will be this one, and you can also see a button over there so we will want to get up there we will also be vigilant because there is an enemy guarding the button not really a big threat but it wasn't really nice was it so now you will just go down and grab the stone so this being my first Barlow stone. You will now have a, a very expensive stone in your inventory. Always very nice to have. And having done that, you will want to go back up, up the staircase, and now be entering the last room. This is a very large dungeon indeed, and all these uh, alien ruins are large. Not everyone this large, however. So, entering the Sankramati, you will now be greeted by a <laughs> skeleton, which you may be easily dispersed of. So, uh, so uh, I'm just going to apologize that I managed to uh, ignore this when I approached it. I was so interested in the bombs, I thought this was part of the structure. However, this, uh, I'm filming this just after completing the video, is one of uh, ten uh, Aelid statues, which is part of a quest you gain from a man called Mbakano, which one you can collect ten of these. So, as you can see, when I grab this, I should maybe the quest. No, no quest popped up. However, that is one of the statues which is present in the middle of these traps. So I will uh, just uh, paste this into the video and uh, this is also some sort of post commentary so it might seem a bit out of uh, context when the video continues. But yeah, I apologize just for, for seeing that this room some traps. So we will want to yeah, leg it through, I guess. And, uh, <laughs> that enemy just 
stop get through there grab the potion it may not be worth the risk but why the hell not and the story is basically the same for the next room of course it's locked why wouldn't it be so it will be proved so i can't get into it that easy you will be greeted by another skeleton disperse of him and there will be chest and what is this under skeleton so once you have those skeletons you will be looking this way continuing onwards to the great chamber here you will be greeted by the boss which is a necromancer <laughs> It wasn't that hard to kill <laughs> for me. It may be that my difficulty is down, but that is Jalbert. So he, being dispersed, you will now see a bedroll. And by the bedroll, in the middle of the room, there will be a reliquary, meaning it will hold some great treasures. So uh, you probably want to be grabbing everything. Also, that key, which I just picked up. Just take this, maybe it's quest related, I don't know. Grab whatever you want and uh, be on your merry way. There is uh, basically nothing else here to grab. So now you will be able to walk up and also grabbing that key will be giving me the opportunity to open this door and progressing to rather uh, high up door which will give you some indication that you will be coming back up somewhere so you will be overlooking the same place where you came from now you will also want to grab these or that now jumping down you can say goodbye Buterin. I was tired of your shit I really hate ruins and you will be able to walk straight out. So, whoops, that was everything for this ruin. So I will, in the background we see an oblivion gate, I will be thanking you for watching. Um, hope this helped. I will post a link to the wiki and the all the information about this room will be there. I will also add some other facts, uh, alchemical ingredients and that stuff in the description as well, so be sure to read it. So um, thank you for watching, please leave a like and a comment, and have a good day. Goodbye.